afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to another week of our Sunday School Online. I'm glad you've joined in and listened to us today, and I'm sure everyone's in a good mood. The sun's been out this last few days, so there'll be nobody complaining about the weather. So I hope you're all in good form and enjoying even this, this day. Now, the announcements, you know them by now. I'll just run through them quickly again. Right after this thought, the teacher's thought today, we have FBC Kids, and I'd love you to tune in and listen to them. They're very, very good at what they do, and they'll bring you a nice message from the Bible. Then we've got the Bible class at 4 p.m. We have the Beeline on Wednesday night at 7 p.m., and it's the last one of the, se- the season. So we've got the Reverend Daniel Henderson, he's coming to speak at that meeting. And then once again, next Sunday, we're back online for Sunday school again at 3 p.m. And there'll be a teacher going around next week to collect your worksheets and deliver the new ones. I think this will be the last batch of the year. So make sure to fill, fill those in and you'll get a prize for doing that. So we're just going to buy for a word of prayer now and then we'll hand over to our teacher's thought of the week. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we we'll thank thee for the Sunday school. Thank thee that we can come online to all the boys and girls. And I pray that us bless them and keep them safe and all their families at this time. Lord, I pray that us even be pleased to speak to them, even through the thought and through FPC kids. And I pray that us be pleased to save them, be able to strengthen them up and be able to make them great followers of thee. Lord, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to hand over to our teacher's thought for the week. Hello boys and girls, I hope that you're keeping well. Today was a lovely day and the sun was shining and I decided to do some spring cleaning. And so in the garage, as I was cleaning, I found this big jar of money. And in it there's some one piece, two piece, five piece and even some pound coins. And as I looked at this jar of money, I thought about a parable that the Lord Jesus taught in Luke 15 about a man, and this man had two sons. And one day the younger son came to his father and said, I want you, father, to give me now the money that I will get when you die. I'm sure the father was shocked at such a request. But this young man, he wanted to be grown up. He wanted to do his own things and not be told to do certain things. And so the father, he... He agreed to the request that the young son had asked, and he gave him the money. Not many days had passed, and what do you think? The young man packed his belongings, and off he went. How sad and heartbroken the father felt as he watched his younger son leave the house. He wondered, would he ever see his son again? Well, the young son, off he went to the city. He started to spend his money, maybe on cars, maybe on new clothes on food and on going to parties with his new friends. But boys and girls, what do you think? He didn't save, keep any of his money. He didn't save any. And soon, what do you think? All the money in his pocket was gone. It was empty, just like my jar. There was nothing left. He had spent it. And soon, all his new friends, they had gone as well. Famine came to the city. The young man, he tried to get a job but he found it very, very hard. The only job he could get was working with pigs. And this was the worst job that the young man could get because the pig to the Jewish people is an unclean animal. Things were bad for the young man. He had little to eat, nowhere to live, his clothes were dirty and ragged, and there he was working with the pigs. Things got so bad that one day he was so hungry he was going to eat the food that the pigs were eating. As he sat there that day and he watched the pigs eating, he thought of his father back home and the servants, and he thought, you know, all the servants back home would have more food than I have. And he thought, I'm going to go back home to my father and tell him how sorry I am, and that I don't deserve to be his son anymore, but I could be his servant. And so the young man set off on the journey. I'm sure he wondered as he went along, what would his father say? Would his father welcome him back? But you know, every day the father would watch, for his son coming home. And one day the father went out and looked down the road that the young man had went and what did he see? But he saw the young man coming home. The father flew out the door and up to meet him. And you know, the young man, he tried to tell his father how sorry he was, that he didn't deserve to be his son no more and that he would be a servant. But you know, the father didn't listen. He shouted for his servants to bring him a ring, bring him a new cloak and to put new sandals on his feet and to kill the fattest animal there was and that night they were going to have a party to celebrate the young man coming home. The other son, he wondered what was happening, what was going on, what was all this happening that day on the farm 
and you know he wasn't very happy when he heard that a, that there was going to be a party to celebrate his brother coming home and you know the father spoke to the other son and said son you have everything that I have left everything will go to you but I want to rejoice tonight and have this party to celebrate my son that was lost and is found boys and girls today you know as our father loved the son God loves you and me and how did he show his love for you and for me by sending his son to die on the cross and shed his blood for you and for me and boys and girls the Lord Jesus today he dies for he died for you on the cross and what he wants you to do is to come and trust in him boys and girls today will you come and ask the Lord Jesus into your heart and give him your life and forever and forever thank you boys and girls for listening bye